welcome back i haven't done a video in about a couple months i think the last time i did a video was i don't remember it was february i haven't done a video or anything like that in a long time so i'm back um, I think what I'm going to do for this look is very simple. Um, no, you know what? Scratch that. We're going to do the look that I did for graduation. It was, I don't know how to say it was, but it was cute, man. Ugh. So we're going to do the look that I did for graduation. It was a very simple but very beautiful look. Um, it wasn't that hard to do, but I don't remember any of the colors that I used. So... We're gonna wing it. I forgot how to talk. I forgot how to talk. I forgot how to speak. Let's begin. So the first thing that we're gonna do is that I bought this illuminating primer mist from e.l.f. I got it from Target. I think it was, I'm not gonna say prices because I don't remember how much any of this costs. So I'm just gonna spray that all over my face. Okay, and then we're, I'm going to go in with uh, the Cetaphil Moisturizing Lotion. I have. And then what I'm going to be using is, I don't have anything over here. So the primer, the, I've been using a lot of primers. The primers that I've been using lately. The wrong one. Back. The Poor Professional, and then I've been using this becca first light priming filter that i got from boxycharm love it so i put this on my nose and my t-zone because my pores are really horrible right there i don't know how to speak or how to say any of this but i don't know what i'm doing half the time i don't think you're supposed to be putting this many primers on your face but my face is really dry and it needs a little extra help and then I just went in, I'm going in with the Becca uh, primer. As I was really interrupted, I don't even remember where, the last, where I finished off. I don't remember where I finished off. But, next. I feel like you just change when you have lip gloss on. Like, you're a whole different other person. And so we're going to do my eyebrows. And my eyebrows now are a lot... I don't know how to describe my eyebrows. My eyebrows change every time I do them. Why? Because I don't know how to do my eyebrows. I've been using the brow definer in soft brown. I feel like that makes my eyebrow routine go a lot quicker than having to use the uh, the dip brow. So let's dive in. I'm going to brush the hairs up. I don't know if you guys can see this, but... All right, and then I'm gonna go in like right in the middle right here and then just go and brush it. Oh my God, I broke out of my eyebrow. <gasps> I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I don't know my eyebrow shape. Like, I don't know my eyebrow shape. And I feel like when I'm under pressure, my eyebrows come out like shit. Oop. My eyebrows come out like poop. And then somebody had texted me to do their makeup for prom. I was like, girl, I don't even know how to do mine. I'm not even doing my own. See, I don't even have an eyebrow shape. Like, whatever. They look so dark. <sighs> I hate my life. Um, but I think we're going to brush out the brows a little bit more because I think they're too dark for my blonde ass hair. I think that's what like trips me up is like sometimes like they look like you can have dark brows and it'll look good and then sometimes you look at yourself and you're like damn I got blocks for eyebrows. I know I'm not the only one that thinks that. What's next? Oh I gotta carve my eyebrows out. And so what I've been using to carve out my eyebrows is foundation. I have not used um concealer because I've, I don't know. 
I just feel like it looks more natural when you carve out your eyebrows with foundation than it is with concealer because I use for the top of my eyebrows I carve it out with my skin uh my um my skin my skin color and then the bottom I use a lighter lighter shade of foundation so like it would be the ones that I use during winter because I'm a lot whiter during winter time so yeah but I'm gonna test out the Tarte Shape Tape in fair neutral I can't stop looking at how dark these things are let's continue with eyebrows I have a ton of brushes and I don't use half of them I can't even find the brush found it I'm gonna go in with oh this is the Jaclyn Hill one uh in JH43 it's like a flat it's like a flat brush and i've been using it to carve out my eyebrows all right so we're gonna go in with fair neutral i've been going out there so like my the end of my brow can be a little bit more persistent and i'm not gonna talk when i do my eyebrows because then that's how i mess them up y'all see that right y'all see that and then i'm just gonna use my uh brow techniques blue, 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 blue. sponge and just buff it all down because they look like ah, they look like poop right now and i hate like the process of doing your eyebrows because then it's like damn do they look this bad and then when you're done you're like oh my god they look really nice like you can't doubt yourself when you're doing your makeup because then it's like you doubt yourself and you're not even done it's like you screw up and you don't even know i guess i don't know and then i'm gonna go in with seashell from Too faced i gotta clean the brush because So I'm just going to put it on the palm of my hand to warm it up. Just a little bit, just to see if it, to use like for one, for both of the eyes. And then I, what I first do is I just applicate it on to the eye, to the skin first and then work my way with it. I find that's the easiest way to do them because it's like you're working with what you have. <gasps> You're working with what you have, and you don't have to keep consistently going back and forth. And I bring the skin, um, the foundation between my brows. My hand's shaking too much right now. I'm not trying to do this right now. I feel like with your eyebrows, you have to do them fast. Like, you can't, like, think about it. Because if you think about it, then there goes your eyebrow. And if you're going to do what I do, just know that by the time that you get to your second eyebrow, the foundation's going to be dried. Or it's going to be, like, setting into your skin. So, I feel like that's easier to work with. Sometimes I don't know why I keep saving an eyebrow when it's... When there's no way to save it anymore. eyebrow that's just not capable of being saved anymore it's just there's just no use it's two different completely eyebrows everybody gets this way i know i'm not the only one let's just put it like this <sighs> if i'm gonna take this sip of my cappuccino blast Nick. I don't have like a clip or something. Damn, my hair is like pissing me off. I have a leak on. Ever since I got these extensions, 
I've gotten used to them, but it's just like, damn, it's such a hassle. They, it's a lot of hair. All right, and so I'm gonna be using the whatever what I use for my top brows on my face. I have an alarm for 5.15. I don't know why I have an alarm for 5.15 p.m. It's the end. Uh, the next is a uh, wonder stick in, what is this one? In, in light medium. That's not even, I don't, I don't know why I try so hard to make it even. If it never comes out even. And when I blend, I literally just go back and forth and I dot it and I blend it together. I think when you cream, when you try to blend out creams, it's a lot harder because you feel like it's going to get sloppy and you're going to look muddy. But I think it's a little bit goes a long way. You don't want to do, you don't want to think that, oh, it's too, it's, this isn't the right amount. I need a little bit more because then when you just keep packing and packing, it'll look muddy and then it'll look splotchy. That's done. What's next? Oh, I have to set my face. All right, so we're going to go in with Fit Me, the loose finishing powder, in number five, Fair. And we're going to set... My under eyes. But first... I gotta get rid of these creases because then I look like a crackhead. And then I drag it outwards. I make sure there's no creases. And then what I do so I don't look so powdery all over my face, I just dab it and then I just like that and then I just press that onto the skin. Really good for that too. I know. All right. Next. Um, we're gonna go in with um Kylie's um uh, khaki bronzer. That is that's really good. How do your brushes go missing, bro? This is bugging me. Oh, it's in here. And then I'm gonna, and then this is the, the Muda Moda brush in, I don't know if it's this one. And this is uh khaki and the, it's really cute. It's a hit. And then I just fluff it out. I feel like you get like a more flawless and more natural look when you use a fluffier brush instead of using, for example, like a fat one and then just going in and out like that. I feel like you get a more flawless look when it's a very, when you go in with a little bit and then you pack it on slowly with a, this type of brush. And going in very gently, not really rough because if you go really rough, then it's going to be hard to, to blend out the bronzer. <laughs> Look at me. I sound like I know what I'm doing. So this is what I've been doing. So you know how when you bake and everything, ugh, you know when you bake, you have you have to cut it right. What I've been doing lately is because I don't like I don't know if it's the way that I'm doing it or what, but I don't like the white line that I get after I do it. I want it to look like a flawless, like a natural cut. So what I've been doing is I've been getting a shade dark a uh, two shades darker than my natural um than the than the actual um than the actual uh than the actual powder that i use to do that so i'm in fair in number five and this is fair light in 10 so i'm going to be using that to cut out to carve out um the 
the stuff you're to, to carve out your bronzer to you know you don't know what i mean okay we're i can't do anything <sighs> And now we're gonna cut it out. And then what I'm gonna use to carve it out is my Morphe brush, my Morphe sponge. This is the best thing you could do to ever carve out anything. Oh. So I'm just gonna put it onto the little tapa, little tapita, and, and then just go from there. So dump it in like so, how much ever you use, and let's hopefully I can carve this out right. that's not right but whatever don't care whatever whatever i don't care and i'm just gonna drag it down like so i don't know why i do that i just do there's that um, what's next oh my eyes if i'm gonna be honest i don't remember any of the colors that i used so i'm going to wing it i'm gonna be using soft glam modern renaissance um white peach and Too faced even though i did not use this palette whatsoever when i did that look because i didn't have that palette this palette when i did the look and then we're gonna go in with Jaclyn Hill palette. Did I use this palette? At this point, I don't even know. But we're gonna use it. We're gonna go in with. Got it. We're gonna go in with peach cream to set the entire eye. And the brush we're gonna use is. We're gonna use a da 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 JH32 all over the eyelid, even though I probably didn't even use this brush when I did it, but whatever. So we're just gonna go in all over the eyelid and use this. I got it at Marshalls. For how much? I don't know. All right, now that that shade is on there, it doesn't look like it, there was a difference, but <sighs> moving on to the next. I don't remember what I did for that look, even though it was such a pretty look. I don't remember. We're going to go in with Burnt Orange and Rustic from Soft Glam. We're gonna mix those two colors very lightly around the this eye part. Don't know what it's called, but your crease? Yeah, I think it's called your crease. All right, now both of those eyes are done. Um, I, I use the same brush, the JH32 brush. And next what we're going to do is... I don't even remember what I did next. If I'm being brutally honest with you, I do... I don't remember what I did next. But I think we deepened up the... We're going to deepen up the... This your outer corner i'm going to be be using da 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 da, da. this color i'm going to be using butter and potter butter and potter together and we're going to mix those two colors together and then we're going to use a this is a m 573 brush Mix those two colors together, tap off the excess, and then deepen up the outer corner. Like so. Next. I think. With, I'm going to go in with Pookie. And I'm going to go in with Pookie and Roxanne. A little bit of that and put that like right here on this outer crease just to deepen it up a slight bit and then for that I'm going to use a 
for that, I'm going to use a E17 brush. Oh, damn, what colors did I say I was going to use? You know what? I'm lying. We're going to deepen up a little bit more. We're going to go in with... We're going to go in with buns and chip. These two colors right here. Am I recording? Yeah, okay. This color right here. This, this one right here and this one right here. A little bit of that just to deepen it up again. Damn, I don't even think I did this look. I'm just overdoing it. And now we're going to get a fluffy brush and... I, we're going to use an E27 brush and just fluff that all up. We're going to take that off and we're going to use... I'm going to use a little angle brush to just dust that off. And then I use... I, I cut... I, I cut it. Um, I did a cut crease, and I don't remember what um, what um, what brush I used to cut crease. I don't know what brush you're really supposed to cut crease with, but I'm not an expert, and I don't even know what to be doing half the time. I just watch people do it and I do it and I try to recreate it. Why? Because and I'm just gonna be using this uh wild uh white and wild burst so it's like that. I think that's what I used last time. I think I don't remember, but whatever. And then I'm gonna use you know what? We'll use a tart shape tape, you know. We'll use a tart shape tape. Loki, I'm kinda liking it, so I'm probably gonna go buy a big one. All right, we're not going to talk. Let's focus. We're going in to go with, we're going to go in with bronze. Oh, I love that color. We're going to go in with bronze and we're going to use this um, brush. This, um... Um, I don't know. Um, I bought like a bunch of these brushes and I don't remember because they were like a dollar. And then we're going to go in with bronze. And we're going to put that on the eye like, oh, no, I didn't use this one. I used, I'm going to go in with just a kiss. It was just a kiss that I used. I remember that. Because I put it on my finger and I put it on the brush and this. It wasn't coming out right. I got glitter in my eye. It's okay. Beauty hurts. I'm gonna deepen that up. Oh, it looks pretty. And we're just going to deepen out the... Where I deepened it out, I'm just going to use a raw sienna. And the rest, um... In the uh, Modern Renaissance palette. And then we're going to use a... We're going to use a... Da -da 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 -da, an M321 brush. I think I'm gonna go back into the um I think we're gonna go back into the uh those these two colors down here that I used. Honestly I don't even think I used these colors when I did it. Yo I tripped. I trip, bro. The process of blending is a pain. Cause you just want to make sure it's blended out right, and the 
even if it's not you're just like well that was a complete waste but whatever that eye is done and then just i'm gonna under my eyes i'm gonna use a m506 brush and then i'm just gonna go in with um rustic in burnt orange from the soft glam Honestly, I don't even think this is the look that I did for my graduation, but it's pretty. And then we're going to finish off with the rest of the face because I'm annoyed right now. Because this isn't it. Like, this eye looks darker than mine. Let's fix it. Because if I keep looking at it, I'm going to... I feel like throwing this palette. Oh, I just cut. Oh, no, I didn't. Oh, yo, that hurts. And now we're just going to do our lips and our lashes because I'm annoyed right now. Because it's not coming out the way that I want it to go out. And we're going to go in. This is Bear. We're going to go in with Bear from Kylie. The lip liner. I feel like this, does, this look is just to i don't know how i feel about it i feel like the lip is just too maybe i need mascara or something i don't know i don't like how this look is coming out i don't like how it's turning out and i'm freaking out i think i'm gonna take off the lip i don't like how it looks i'm just gonna go in with this avon color um it's called mystery moave Okay, I don't even know what color to go in next to it. I'm going in with a uh, twig from MAC. I don't, I don't know how I feel about it. Uh, I don't know how I feel about it and it's freaking me out. All right, this is semi halfway through. I need to put lashes on. I need to put a little bit of highlight and we'll see where it goes from there. Oh, okay, so the highlight that I'm using right now is in Icicle from this, Be this Becca palette. It is the A pre sky glow face palette. This is the end. This is the end result. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. I wanted to do one look, and then I ended up coming out with a whole different look um, because my graduation look was more of a simple glam, and it turned out cute. Like it's a really cute look. I don't know how I feel about it. I really love the way this came out this is a whole different look like i was going for the graduation look that i did i forgot what i did and i started going with a little darker colors and i came out with this and, and this is just like a midnight going out to look i didn't expect that i didn't think i could do that but it turned out really cute and I enjoyed the way that this looks and I love the way this looks on me, especially since I'm very white complected. Um, I don't even know if that's how you say it, but this is the end result. I really hope you guys enjoyed the video after months of me not doing anything, me not posting anything, me not even putting anything up on my social media saying that I'm going to post a video. So this is just a pop-up back into YouTube. And I really hope you guys enjoyed it. I know I don't. I didn't talk much. I just caught you guys up on everything that I was doing. Um, but hopefully later on I get in the habit of talking while I'm doing my makeup or explaining more of what I'm doing. Because I just felt like I did what I did and I just told you guys what I was doing. But hopefully it changes later on. So... Thank you guys for watching. I will be back.